Hey, what's up, everybody? How's everyone doing today? Doing nice. I want to talk about a quick subject, real quick. Traffic riding. Traffic riding. Everyone's like, well, well, should I stay in the, as I call it, the zone? This is a tunnel right here. What? No one's moving. Everyone's stuck. Do you stay in the tunnel? Or do you get out the tunnel into the free-moving traffic? It could be safer in the tunnel because people's decisions are obviously slowed down. Here's the downside. The tunnel is kind of hard to get out of. Look at, And now you're going from a slow position. Look at I'm going now. I'm going now really quickly. This is how you get killed. Doing that right there. That's what makes it dangerous. So I want to give you an example of, look at that's a semi right there. You think I was going to stop for me? No. I would have killed me. So luckily that semi was in the number two lane and not the number three lane. But anyway, I want to give an example of, it's called in traffic riding, it's called riding the tunnel. Is it safer to stay in the tunnel? Because look at everyone's in gridlock over there, right? So if I had to stay in that traffic, if I had to go on the 110 south all the way to Carson, right? Do you stay in the lanes that are locked or do you move over to the one or two lanes where you can swim around traffic? You can now start to float, you know. It's a good topic to talk about because depending on the situation, I think the tunnel's safer. And the reason why is because the people around you are, are going to have a slower time to get in your way because they're moving at zero miles an hour. You know, when they move one or two miles an hour, you can see the whole bumper move into your space. And you're like, uh-oh, i got to slow down. And of course, you shouldn't be flying in the tunnel anyway. You should be only going, if they're going, what, zero, you should be going no faster than 20, 15 miles an hour. If they're going five miles, don't go faster than 20, 25 miles an hour. Do the 15-mile-an-hour rule, which is if you're lane sharing, what you're doing, you're sharing lanes, don't go faster than 15 miles an hour safely. Now, if you don't care about your life and you want to die, do what you want. It's your life. You're going to piss people off doing it. You know? So, the example, look at Everyone's floating right here. People are moving a little bit. No one, There's no tunnel because everyone's in the move. So, this is, for me, kind of dangerous. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Super dangerous. No, this to me is the most dangerous type of riding in traffic. I like the tunnel because in the tunnel you just stay in the lane and you can see when people are going in front of you and you can average 15, 20 miles an hour, you know, in the tunnel because everyone's moving. But here it's stop and go traffic. Stop and go traffic sucks because see how these people just float everywhere? People just float all over the place. You know, and I'm just obviously trying to stay in my space, but I'm going to have to share this, I'm going to share two lanes. And that, that's what happens to stop and go. I have to share multiple lanes. I have to share the number the number five. Yeah, it's the number five lane. And this is number six lane. I have to share the number five lane right here. So I'm in six. I ride it, ride it. And then if I need to, I go to number five lane, which is on this side. But if, right now, I just stay in the six lane, you know. And there it is. Luckily, he moved, you know. And thank you, sir. So this is traffic riding, man. This is traffic riding. We call this the extended clip edition. But that's the techniques that I'm showing you. Is there's multiple types of traffic. Stop and go traffic, slow traffic, quick traffic. There's uh, stop traffic, which is turned into tunnel traffic. And there's multiple types of riding safely through traffic. Obviously, people are like, well, don't ride a motorcycle. It's nice. Well, you're stupid anyway. It's called environmentalism. That's why people ride these things. Okay, because they actually care about something and they want to get somewhere in a reasonable amount of time. And realistically, environmentalists are somewhat minimalist. We just like minimal things. We, we don't need all the, which is cool. And that's why we're doing it. So if you're going to get mad at motorcycles for sharing two lanes, then you're getting mad at environmentalists. So you know what? You are a poopy head. If, you're a mad, if, you, if people hate environmentalists, oh man, you're a big poopy head. You deserve uh, hot steaming compost on your forehead every morning, okay? Because how, how are you going to get mad at environmentalists? What kind of human are you?